Hello everyone, this is Sid here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing something very exciting. I'm actually going to be doing something three in one. So, if you would like to watch, please stay tuned. And without further ado, let's get started. So, basically what I'm going to be doing in this video. First of all, I'm going to be doing the Dragon Sheep Hybrid Challenge. Second of all, I'm going to be doing a redesign of my old designs since I have designed these characters before. So it's going to be an original versus redesign or a traditional versus digital type setup. And third of all, I'm going to be doing adoptables. So all of these dragons are for adopt if you would like to have them. And I'll be going over the rules for those at the end of the video. But basically starting off, we have the first hybrid who is a... Sandwing and Nightwing hybrid. When I originally designed this hybrid, they looked like this. And originally, they were a female. But as I redesigned them, I decided to make them a male. And the first one is the one that I changed the appearance of the most drastically, just because I wasn't really a huge fan of the first appearance. And I wanted to go more with like the black and gold color scheme than like the yellow and purple color scheme. I don't know. I don't know why I did that. It might be because I have LSU relatives in my family. So LSU Tigers, let's go. So anyways, I decided to make it more of a black and gold color scheme like how I just said, but I decided to make this one a male just because I was feeling like it. And I decided to do my scales as the sandwing. I like the sandwing skill pattern, how there's like little diamonds, you know? I decided to do my stature or like build as sandwing because I like the more narrow and skinny build. I decided to do my coloring. My coloring is both really, but the dragon is prominently like black and gray. So I would say that he's prominently nightwing colors. And I decided to do Nightwing wings because the wings have the beautiful star pattern and all of that. You can pick and choose which like personality traits and stuff and powers he has because I have not already thought of this before. Nor have I thought of his backstory, which is what's going to be required for you to adopt him. So think about that and also think about a nice name for him. I was trying to think, it's kind of hard because the Wings of Fire naming pool is so limited and having a good name that would represent both Sandwings and Nightwings is also very hard. Because so, you know, the Sandwings have normal names and the Nightwings have sort of like a warrior cat name where it's a combination of a prefix and a suffix. But the next dragon that I did was the Seawing Hivewing dragon. And I decided that since most insects are more likely than not going to be green as opposed to blue, I would do a green hive wing hybrid. But the green is still a little bit more of like a teal or turquoise type green than an actual true like emerald colored green. So it's a little bit like a mixture in between green and blue. But this one I kept mostly the same. I just transferred it into digital and I made it more of my style since the first ones, the original ones, were more of a Joy Ang style and let's just face it, not all of us can draw that well. Not all of us can draw that many details and stuff that perfectly, so it's better if we just draw in our own styles instead of trying to replicate someone else. Because if you make your style your own and you make it special and unique, then that style will be beautiful and other people will love it too. So, even if you don't think your style is great, you should never try to go for someone else's style as opposed to your own, because people will love your style for the authenticity and the realisticness of you being your true self. That is your one takeaway from this video. So, once again, I decided to go for a more high wing build or stature, because high wings are more skinny and lanky and thin. I feel like sea wings would be as well because they have to swim through the water which would require lots of like energy, you know? But most people say that sea wings are like thicker which like, I don't know. I always headcanon them to be skinnier but I don't know. 
I decided to go with, of course, sea wings for coloration. I think I did a combination of both hive wing and sea wing for scales because I did my hive wing stripes, but I did my sea wing bioluminescent scales. So if you would like my dragon to communicate via aquatic, they'll still be able to since they have those scales on them. And for the wings, I obviously decided to do my hive wing wings because honestly, if you have the option to make the bug wings, I would 100% do that because the bug wings are just so much cooler than all the other basic wings. Bug wings plus leaf wings because leaves. Yas, we love leaves. But same rules apply for this adoptable dragon. You can write a name, you can write a backstory, personality traits, and powers, and all of that good stuff. And I will give them to you that way. And the last hybrid that I redesigned was actually a Skywing and Silkwing hybrid. I feel like this dragon would be really interesting because both of them have lots of fire elements. Like my Silkwings have flame silk and my Skywings of course have really hot normal fire and they can also have fire skills or enhanced fire. So that would be really cool if your dragon had just like super duper epic fire or like fire skills mixed with flame silk. That would be really, really cool. Once again, that's up for you to debate. But I decided to make my dragon more like a silk wing in terms of build, once again, because those are more skinny, lanky, thin dragons. I did sort of like a mixture of the silk wing scales and the sky wing scales because, you know, silk wing scales are cool with like that little circular pattern and the Skywing skills are cool with like the big splotches. So I decided to combine those into a nice little pattern and I decided to go with mainly Skywing colors of bright oranges and reds. And I decided to do once again, the Silkwing wings because I wanted those bug wings. So same rules apply as always for this hybrid. Please give a name, a backstory, a personality, and some powers in the comments down below and i will reward you with this dragon and anyways that's pretty much it for this video i hope that you all enjoyed it and if you did please make sure to like and subscribe because it always helps me out so much when you do and i really do appreciate it it helps to encourage me and support me as a young artist and it also helps to boost my youtube channel into the algorithm so that more people like you can see my content which is always amazing because I do love to share my art with as many people as possible. And it always means so much to me when other people get to see it and it helps you to stay tuned with my content so you will never miss a single upload. I upload very frequently. I upload multiple long forms per week and I upload multiple short forms per day. So you will never be bored if you're an artist or an art lover like me, then you will always have something fun to watch. And anyways, I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video. Always remember that I love you, and goodbye!